The milk crate rotor truck was designed to move stacks of up to five milk crates and navigate between crate stacks. When loading, slip the short toe under the stack, guiding the latches into the crate voids. Test that they have engaged, confirm visually, then pull back steadily until the rear wheels engage the ground. Now you are free to stack, transfer the stack of crates. Beware your surroundings to avoid collision and injury. Take care when turning. Reduce your speed to avoid tipping. When placing the crates, come to a stop. Rotate the handle forward and settle the load onto the ground. Disengage the latching system by lifting up on the handle and pull back the rotor track. Once more, to pick up the crates, engage the latches, test and pull back until the rear wheels rest on the ground. To place, rotate the handle upright, lift the handle to disengage before pulling back. When crossing obstructions, be aware, an open grate is easier to cross in the diagonal. Avoid driving into obstructions with the front wheels. Simply pull back on the handle, lifting the front wheels and clear the obstruction. Do the same on uneven or soft ground. Once across, lower the front wheels back onto the ground. Take more care for large obstructions like curbs. The narrow track allows it to move between crate stacks to place and retrieve stacks placed in back rows. When maneuvering between stacks, be sure to avoid contact with the adjoining crates. The rotor track can quickly place crate stacks onto pallets by lifting the front wheels to raise the toe. On contact, lever the handle forward until the stack stands up. Disengage the latches and pull the rotor truck back and onto the ground. When retrieving, place the lip of the toe on the pallet under the crates before engaging the latches. Rotate the handle back and down until the rear wheels contact the floor, then settle the front wheels. When placing a crate stack into the center of a pallet, place the front wheels onto the pallet, follow with the rear wheels, then lower the crates into place. Disengage the latches and pull the rotor truck back and onto the ground, again from a different angle. When retrieving, roll the truck into place, push forward and lock the latches. Pull back and down, moving backwards on the rear wheels and down the edge of the pallet. Once clear, settle the front wheels onto the ground. 